Okay, in this example we're going to build a simulation traffic light sequence with LabVIEW. So I'm going to drop down my first green LED, increase the size, make two copies. So hold down the control button on your keyboard and drag out two more copies. Call the top one red. And the middle one amber. And now we'll change to the block diagram. And in the block diagram you can see the three items that I've included there on the front panel. The first thing I'm going to do is to put in a flat sequence. First frame, right click, add frame after. Right click add frame after. And inside the frame I'm going to put a local variable. The local variable I'm going to use local variables to control the items that are on the front panel. So I need three local variables here in the front. The first top one I'm going to make red, second one amber and the third one green. Now I'm going to create a constant which will be a um, true false constant into the local variables. So right click create constant and in the first frame I would like the actually I'll just leave them false while I copy them. So draw a box around press control. Now in the first frame I would like the red light to be on. In the second frame I would like the green light to be on and in the final frame I would like the amber light to be on. Now I'm going to put in my time delays. So time delay for the red light, I will say three seconds. Time delay for the green light, let's say two. And the amber is slightly different. I'm going to I would like to have a flashing amber in here. So I'm just going to move down my green, move down my red. I'm going to put the amber light inside a loop, inside a for loop. So I right click, structures, click on for loop and drop in a for loop. Now inside this for loop I'm going to add a shift register. And I'm going to use a not gate found on my boolean palette to invert a true value or into a false value. And I'll put that false value back into the shift register. And every time the loop runs, it will change the value from true to false, true to false. And by doing that, I will turn off and on the amber light. So let's give the loop the number of times I would like it to run. So create a constant, let's say 16. And finally, I would like to give the loop a time delay. This time will determine the speed at which the loop will run. So let's give it uh, 0.25 a second. So that will give me four seconds for a flashing amber. Now let's go to the front panel. And finally what I need to do is to change the color here of my LEDs. So let's right click, go to properties, click on the on value. I would like the red light to be red when it's on. And let's go with a dark gray for off. Amber, properties. Let's go with a, an orange and the same dark grey for the off. And finally the green, it's already set for a, a green on colour, a bright green and let's go with a the same dark grey off colour. And let's run the VI. So my red light is on, that's three seconds, my green light is on and now I have a flashing amber. Okay, so I hope that helps.